welcome back everyone in the last video i have discussed about block builder widget and i also discussed that this block parameter is optional if we don't pass this block parameter then it searches for the block instance provided by the block provider widget in this video i will discuss about block provider widget it is a widget which is provided by flutter block library it is used to provide the instance of the block to the widget tree making it accessible to the widget that needs it let me show you how to use the block provider widget here i will use block provider and here i need to specify the block that is counter block now it takes a parameter create here i need to pass the block instance this will be context and the block instance will be the block which we have created that is counter block and it takes one more parameter which is child in the child I need to pass this this means this counter block instance will be accessible to the child of this block provider now let me move down now there is no need of creating this counter block instance Now there is no need of passing this block because this counter block instance will be provided by the block provider widget. So I am removing this and now when this plus will be clicked at that time I need to generate this counter increment event. How can we do that? To do that here we will use context dot read and here I need to specify the block that is counter block. And after that I can call the add method and now here I can generate the counter increment event. Similarly for minus also let me copy this paste it here and I will replace this with counter decrement event that is it. Now let me hot restart this let me show you the output. Yes, now if I click on plus, then you can see the value is incrementing. If I click on minus, then you can see the value is decrementing. Now here, this block provider will dispose this block instance automatically. Since it is created by the block provider, so the disposal functionality of this counter block will be the responsibility of this block provider. Okay. Now one more thing this create will be executed only when the block instance is looked up via context.read method. This means whenever we will call this context.read counter block at that time only this counter block instance will be created. Okay. If we do not call this if we do not call this context.read then this instance of counter block will never be created but it has a parameter which is called as lazy if i make it as true then this counter block instance will be created immediately by default the value of lazy is false let me repeat it once more by default the create will get executed only when the block instance is looked up via context.read method but if lazy is set to false then the block instance will be created immediately okay now in some cases the block provider can also be used to provide an existing block to the widget tree what i am trying to say is that let me comment this let me copy and let me comment this copy comment in some cases here we can use this block provider to provide an existing block which has already been created and to do that here we need to use block provider dot value and now this create will not be used here here we need to use value and in the value we need to write context dot read 
after that the block which we want to pass to the child suppose it's block a and that's it okay so this block provider will pass the existing block a to the child of this block builder that is my home page so this is another use case of block provider dot value so this is how we can use block provider and block provider dot value that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching